Hello and welcome to another episode of Big Man of the Woods. My name is Mark, your online scout leader, helping you deliver more practice skills and skills for life. Now I'm filming this one on our first night back at scouting. We're out in the park playing rounders. Uh, and a question I was asked just recently by Ian is, what's the point of patrols? And I thought, you know what, Bella? Let's ask Colin Walker, scout historian, why BP decided to come up with patrols. Well, I'm, I've got great sympathy for the person that asked that question. Um, let, let's go back to the beginning of why were there patrols? Because this was a part of Baden Powell's well thought out plan of how to train young people, because they need somebody of their age that's got more experience, that can be a, a mentor to them and to bring them up in, in the great game. And, and so the patrol was a unit within the group um, and the scout the, the patrol leader was he was being done good to because he was being given status and a role and a responsibility that he could grow into. And then in turn, he was passing that on to the boys in the patrol. That was part. And then as well, part of Baden Powell's great plan was that the troops should actually be run by the patrol leaders. So they had a court of honour system. And let me tell you that in the First World War and the Second World War, scouting would not have survived. Categoric fact, full stop, the end. There would have not been scouting in the two world wars because all the men were at the front and all the women would work in the socks off if they wear socks in the ammunition factories and what have you. It was the scout patrol leaders, maybe with the help of, of the Lady Arcala who hadn't gone to the front, but maybe by themselves, they were carrying on scouting. But the thing to be said was, Mark, that the patrol leaders were 15 and a half years old. OK, boys left school at 14. They went to work in the world of men. So a, a 15 year and a half old patrol leader in, say, 1920 was not like a 15 and a half year old boy today. He'd been out in a man's world and, and he, he could take on the responsibilities now, your scout leader that's asking what's the point today, I have some sympathy for. Because if you've got a young scout, a, a, a young scout group and the average age of the patrol leaders are 13 and a half, and that often happens, doesn't it, Mark? Absolutely. Yeah. So if you've got a 13 year and a half, is, is he the same person able to bring on? Has he got the maturity to actually bring bring on younger boys? And so in the best will in the world, they haven't. They, in the, in the normal sort, of, in, the, in the scheme of things that Bain Powell devised, they would be coming up to being seconders on their way to become patrol leaders. So, so what happens? What does a patrol leader actually do in today's world of scouting? Well, they should be given big responsibility. Uh, and they, it shouldn't just be uh, a device to say, right, now we're not, now going to have a game. So you balls... Wall patrols, you go over to that side of the hall and, and, and eagles, you go over that side of the hall. And that's what it seems to me as to where we've got to. The patrol system was really enhanced by a young scouter that went to war and never came back called Roland Phillips. And he wrote a book called The Patrol System and another book called Letters to a Patrol Leader. And he spells out those books. He took the role of the patrol leader onto, onto a greater height than even Baden-Powell himself. If you are a wise scout leader, I would suggest you look to your duty of taking each and every young person in your in your group further on. And if you've got if you've got scouts aged 13 and a half, then they're going to go up into whatever the next systems, the next section is going to be called after the review. And, and they need to be given responsibility. And that is the purpose of the patrol system. There you go, Colin, awesome answer, brilliant. And Ian, I hope you found the answer from Colin's explanation. The other question that Ian asked is what makes a really good patrol? What makes a good patrol leader? And it's all about mixture, okay? So the new scouts now, they leave at a bit of younger age, but when BP, had scouts that were older so a patrol leader was more mature and the patrol leader back then as Colin was saying would have gone to work would have had life experience and stuff and that's what patrol leader needs to bring to your patrol a bit of experience someone who can bring the whole patrol together working together and if someone needs some help the patrol leader will notice that and then we'll go and help them or maybe get a leader to ask for help and stuff like that so getting a patrol leader with life experience 
I know it's hard, <laughs> but there's some really outstanding scouts and you know who's gonna make a good leader. But what makes a good patrol? As I say, having a bit of mixture. So looking at my scouts tonight, uh, we'll be looking at the new patrols and we'll be looking at trying to mix it up. So there's someone uh, who may be a bit quiet, in that patrol we'll have someone not confident or boosty but we'll just give that quiet um scout a bit of confidence and be of a bit of a like a scout mentor that kind of thing yeah so having someone who is confident enough to speak up and then just mix and match sometimes the patrols might not work so you might have to reshuffle them at some point but it's always it's always interesting we have tonight six new cubs they joined us over scouts uh, during lockdown we don't really know them that well so it'll be interesting over the next couple of weeks to work out uh, their personalities their strengths their weaknesses and what we can work as as scout leaders to make them a better person and more skills for life so ian i hope that answered your question if you've got more questions to ask me feel free drop me a comment below and if you want to learn some more about scouting don't forget subscribe to big man of woods and i'll see you next time look at this rude boy <laughs> take care